South Korean defense chief orders plan to kill Northern Korean leader Kim Jong-un. South Korean Defense Minister Shin Won-sik has called for quickly killing North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and other top officials in Pyongyang in the event that war breaks out on the peninsula again. Shin issued this order telling South Korea's Army Special Warfare Command to make preparations for taking out North Korea's leader. If Kim Jong-un starts a war as a key unit of Korea, massive punishment and retaliation, you must become the world's strongest special operations unit to swiftly eliminate the enemy leadership, he said, during a visit to the commando unit southeast of Seoul in Incheon. Korea, massive punishment and retaliation is South Korea's defense doctrine for delivering a debilitating retaliatory strike in response to a North Korean attack. It's part of Seoul's three-axis system for deterring a new war with Pyongyang, which also includes preemptively eliminating a North Korean missile launch and shooting down missiles in flight. Shin made his visit to the Special Forces Command amid South Korea's ongoing Freedom Shield military exercise with the U.S. military. Kim has called such joint exercises a rehearsal for invasion of North Korea and a provocation of war. The two Koreas have technically been at war for over seven decades after their 1950 to 1953 conflict ended with an armistice rather than a peace agreement. In Seoul's latest drills with U.S. troops, Special forces have worked on infiltrating key command facilities and paralyzing their operations, South Korea's Yonhap news agency reported. The South Korean Army Special Warfare Command said it's preparing for various provocations from the North, including terrorist attacks. We will move in, strongly suppress them, and punish them until the end. Shin, the defense chief, also visited a key wartime command bunker in Songnam, just south of Seoul. He said the joint exercise will hone operations to neutralize the North Korean nuclear and missile network at an early stage and attack the enemy in all areas, including land, sea, air, space, cyber, and electromagnetic waves. We need to further strengthen our capabilities so that we can overwhelm them. Russia awakes to biggest attack on Russian soil since World War II. The biggest attack on Russian soil since the Second World War continues as waves of attack drones continue to fall on Russian oil refineries, military bases and security services. At least 60 drones were spotted over not less than seven Russian regions overnight on March the 13th, with at least seven more in a morning wave, Russia's defense ministry announced. A major oil refinery is ablaze in Ryazan. Military bases were targeted in Voronezh, and an FSB building was damaged in Belgorod as multiple waves of drones continue to fall in regions across Russia. A missile threat was also reported by the governor of Kursk Oblast. The waves of drones are a continuation of attacks on March the 12th that saw Russia deal with at least 25 drones over nine regions that struck at least two oil facilities. A Russian Air Force base in Butulinovka and a military airfield in Voronezh were targeted in the mass wave of airstrikes, an informed source told NV on March the 13th. It is believed that the strike was organized by Ukraine's security service with other representatives of the defense forces, the source told NV. The consequences of the attack are being clarified. Part of the city of Voronezh was blocked, including the southwest market, after a drone attack, while another community in the region was left partly without electricity. Some districts in Butulinovka are experiencing power outages following a drone attack, local outlet Astra reported. Major oil refineries in three Russian regions were the main targets of the overnight attack organized by Ukraine, a source told NV. Our task is to deprive the enemy of resources, he said. Large oil refineries in Ryazan, Kostovo of Nizhny Novgorod Oblast and Kirishi of Leningrad Oblast, all among Russia's five largest, were targeted in the mass drone attack, he said. The attacks are a continuation of a series of special operations against enemy refineries that the Ukrainian army had previously launched, the source said. We are systematically implementing a well-calculated strategy to reduce the economic potential of the Russian Federation. The source added, Our task is to deprive the enemy of resources and reduce the flow of oil money and fuel that Russia directs straight to the war and the killing of our citizens. This work will be continued, pledged Andriy Yusov, a representative of Ukraine's military intelligence.